and welcome back. It's about 6.43 right now. On June 1st, in-person trials are expected to start back up here in Bear County. A central part of those trials will be jury selection. The process is actually a very important one. As our Erica Hernandez explains, it can make or break a case for lawyers. The recent Derek Chauvin case in Minneapolis has put trials back in the spotlight. But you don't often see or hear about the jury and the process to decide who those 12 people will be. The selection process is actually a very critical first step in a trial. Uh, if, you, if you are not paying attention and you're not trying your best to really understand where people are coming from, then you, you could try a perfect case and you could you know, just really be on, on your game to the best of your ability and you're going to lose if you, if you can't find uh, people that are willing to listen. The jury selection process to lawyers is something there is no real formula for because each case is different. In fact, they all go into jury selection to weed out the jurors they don't want. It's all about really deselection. So it's a process of identifying the jurors that you're, you're not going to want, jurors that are not going to be good for your case. The process itself can get even more trickier when courts open back up as potential jurors will be required to wear face masks. We use facial expressions to gauge how they're reacting to us all the time. So that's going to be, I, I think it's going to be a handicap for all the lawyers uh, who are doing that because um, it's a lot harder to gauge how this juror or particular person is reacting to the presentation that you're making. Despite the tedious process, lawyers are hoping the Chauvin trial makes people more aware of the importance of being a juror and all testimony presented. And I think that that, that shift in how the world uh, views the relationship between the state and the citizen uh, is, is critical to us moving forward and healing in this country. So I hope that uh, this has done some good for, for all of us in that sense. Jury summons have already been sent out for trials expected to begin next month. For more information on what you need to know before you head to jury duty, head to KSAT.com. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.